Hello everybody. Hope you all have been keeping well. Felt inspired to uh take the next right to stay on Cliff Road, then turn right onto British Columbia 5 North. Oh, oh, oh. Taking directions. Take the next right onto British Columbia 5 North. No, it's been a very interesting journey say the least here and right now I am about to do one of my most Continue for favorite 350 things in the kilometers. entire world which is going to a uh, new hot springs I went out to Kelowna none of it was planned none of this has been fucking planned which is like the complete opposite of what I normally do because I fucking plan everything out to the littlest fucking detail and just make plans for the plans and contingency plans and <laughs> I'm all about the fucking planning. But the universe has just kind of been like, enough with the planning, just fucking go with it. So I've just been going with it and it has been an amazing journey. I literally have all of my hopes and dreams and desires happen. You know, I'm at a place right now, we're building a community, we're gonna be taking care of each other, taking care of the people, and you know, working the land and caring for the land and protecting the land and just, it's gonna be amazing. And I'm so honored and privileged that my life aligned with all of it so you know just with all of that I just felt inspired to uh, just do this little video and you know get my message out you know I have my own philosophy my own views my own beliefs my own you know thought system and all that kind of shit as we all should we all thought the same, the world would be a pretty fucking boring place. You know, as much as we're a collective and, you know, we're a, you know, herd animal and everything, we're still individual conscious beings that are having a human experience. And we should, you know, strive to attain the most from that experience. And, you know, discovering self and what makes us tick and what makes us happy and following our passions and our dreams. You know, one of my, you know, principal thoughts is kindness. Radical and extreme kindness to self and to others. You take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. You know, that's against my philosophy here. People can say selfishness and, you know, all this other thing because they've really done a number on uh, disempowering self. You know, we're all gods and goddesses. We don't truly really know what we are, how we came to be. Like, the whole fucking thing is so convoluted and piled on. So we're not aware of what we're truly capable of, how we uh, interact with the energies of this realm, how we interact with the energies of each other. And through practicing just discovery of self and healing and uh, empowering ourselves knowing that, you know, we're the rulers of our own domain and our own beings and nobody has control over us, nobody rules over us, nobody can tell us what we can or cannot do with our own bodies or anything of that nature. The whole thing is very simple. Cause no harm. I have the right. Now, rights are not privileges granted by government. No human can give another human a right. They do 
through policies and enforcement and all this other bullshit, but it is completely wrong and immoral and unnatural. Our rights occur naturally. They're ours through our birth, through our very existence. They are written into the very fabric of creation. We are sovereign beings and nobody has authority over us otherwise. You are the ultimate authority of yourself and govern yourself accordingly. And the whole fucking uh, definition of, you know, govern is control. So yeah, you know, control yourself. Understand your wants, your needs, your desires. Understand what drives you and what motivates you. You know, understand what your role in this fucking cosmic play is and how that affects the world that you live in and what you bring to it and what you're going to get out of it and what it, the legacy is going to be of you know, the short time that we have here. It's all just a temporary gig. It's not forever. It's not permanent. You know, it's like the times. The times. They come in, they come out. Ever-changing, ever-evolving, ever-growing, and ever-shifting. And I... You know, I think that's how our lives should be led, lived. I love driving through the freaking wilderness and the mountains. You know, I will say one thing, you know, as much as the controllers and rulers and corporate capitalists and judges and lawyers and cops, all the crookedness that happens in Canada, the fucking land itself is some of the most beautiful and pristine examples of nature's art to be found anywhere. Like I said, I'm going to a fucking hot spring. <laughs> I love that shit. I've been to a few bush hot springs that are like completely undeveloped and it is... Some of the most magical, incredible energy ever. Super hot, bubbling, powerful water heated from the fucking Earth's core? Yes, please. You know, I wasn't planning on going. It was, was uh... I had just kind of heard about it because I moved up north. And then thinking, oh, you know, I'll go sometime this summer. And then, you know, I had to go and help a buddy out and drive him to Kelowna so that he could get his Pathfinder and bring it back. Because he drove out with just his big, uh, it's like a honey bus that he fucking converted into a uh, camper. It's really freaking awesome. Yeah, so I drove out there and then we're not picking up another buddy who unfortunately due to all the shit going on in the world, lost everything. So he's coming out to the community now, and uh, so you know, I can help two people out. Not planned, not just me being in the right place at the right time. But, you know, the other guy's travels are kind of delayed, and I have to start my job tomorrow, so I have to head back. But now that I have nobody with me or anything, I'm free to do whatever I please. And so, the fucking hot springs is right along the way. He's the, heading home, so, uh, yeah, pit stop, please. Ugh. Observing the observer. The consciousness behind our thoughts, behind our intent. Take a step back sometimes and just observe your being from like an unbiased third perspective. Because we often just analyze our being and situations and stuff from our perspectives. And we 
everything that we observe and all the information that we take on passes through all of the filters of our upbringings and experiences and you know beliefs and worldviews and all that kind of stuff so sometimes it's good to just remove yourself from the picture and observe yourself observe the situation observe those around you just from like complete neutrality because you know we tend to perceive those as we like or that we you know find attractive or stylish or just you know whatever it may be that gives us you know a kind of preference towards others and we will more readily accept information and the things that they say as opposed to when somebody is delivering that information that may not be so attractive or that you know maybe doesn't deliver it in a way that we're used to doesn't say, speak words softly maybe they come off a bit brash or aggressive or you know hard ass or whatever and it kind of gets our back up a bit and we don't necessarily give that information the proper absorption that it deserves because we're receiving it tainted, essentially. The information's tainted because of our fucking filters. Believe me, I have no idea where I'm going with any of this. I'm just... Enjoy the view. <laughs> all sorts of thoughts and you know it's just I want the best for humanity I want the best for people I want people to be happy and cared for and just be able to live a life that's meaningful and fulfilling to them without having to be exploited for existence you know food and shelter and water and air and energy and like these things are abundant there's no need to be fucking greedy and profiteering off of these resources there's plenty to go around there's plenty to be made money off of for people that want to do extracurricular activities other shit you know my personal fucking opinion is that every citizen in every country should receive personal royalty checks for that countries, natural resources, whatever they may be. Sometimes the fucking country's only natural resources is fucking tourism. But that money should still be going into the hands of the citizens that whose ancestors have built those countries, have built that infrastructure. You know, our ancestors, our fathers, our grandfathers, our great-great-grandfathers and mothers, all of them, our aunts, our uncles, brothers, sisters, they all contributed. They all put fucking their energy and labor and everything towards building up these places. So why are we still having to pay and receiving absolutely nothing? Absolutely fucking nothing. While well, these international corporations can come here, pillage all the resources, pay fucking pennies on the dollar for these fucking things and royalties to, you know, bureaucrats, essentially. And then they just fuck off and they get subsidies and, you know, tax write-offs and incentives and all this other shit. All paid for by the, off the backs of the fucking taxpayers. You know, it's well known that fucking multi-millionaires and all the fucking upper echelon people, they pay fuck all in taxes. They use every fucking loophole and business write-off and shit like that to fucking... I don't know the whole way it works. It's the fucking working man who's fucking... Trust me, a top-end fucking working...